hello from slide nerd and hello from waves in the last video i was talking about a fragment app communication between two fragments we had a fragment a in the orange color the fragment b in the green color and the activity with the blue color when we used to click me the state in fragment b used to change by saying the button was clicked one time again you click it was incremented twice thrice four times and so on now what is the problem with this code you change the orientation of the simulator by pressing Ctrl F11 and now you notice that we have lost all our data which means now you say click me it says the button was clicked one times why so because whenever you change the orientation the fragment is being completely destroyed so the fragment that you see here in the landscape mode is not the same as the one that you were seeing in the portrait mode earlier again if I change the orientation this is also going to get destroyed and I will see a completely new fragment object that has been created here so the question is I don't want to start at one every time the orientation changes I want to make sure that the number of clicks are recorded independent of the fact that the fragment was created or destroyed how do we do this now if you remember the life cycle video of the fragment in my playlist I was talking about what sequence of methods get called when the fragment is about to be destroyed now if you guys remember when you're changing the orientation yes the fragment is destroyed so on pause is called on save instance state is called and then again when the fragment is created back in the new orientation the on create method gets called right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a method here inside our fragment a I want to store the number of times the counter has been incremented in other words I want to store this counter variable just before the fragment is about to be destroyed that can be done inside this on save instance state method the on save instance state method gets called right before the fragment is about to be destroyed it has this bundle parameter it is nothing but an empty bag you can say inside which you can put whatever you want to store so here I'm going to store my counter by saying dot I'll say counter as the key it's a hash map kind of structure which has a key and value pair so I'm gonna say counter and so this is a string with the help of which I can identify this variable later and this is the actual variable itself so every time the fragment is going to be paused this value gets stored now if you guys remember when the activity or the fragment is being created again we have our on create being called here this on create receives a parameter called bundle saved instant state it is actually this same object which after getting destroyed is passed over here when the fragment is created new using this object we can find that counter value and we can set it right I'm gonna do something like this if saved instant state equals equals null this means that we have created our fragment a for the first time that means there was no previous orientation change or anything anything whatsoever this is being made for the first time So I'm gonna say if saved instant state is null it is the damn first time we are making this so I'm gonna give the value of counter as zero if it is not null it means that there was possibly a previous fragment maybe in a different orientation and this time it's being recreated so if you guys remember the previous fragment already saved the counter inside the on save instant state method and now we are going to retrieve it here by saying saved instant state dot get end counter and to be on the safe side I will give a default value of zero and store this inside our counter variable so now let's exactly try to see what we have done we have an int counter equals to zero inside fragment a when the fragment a is about to be destroyed the on save instant state method will be called which has a bundle parameter inside this parameter I store the value of the counter and the on click every time I increase the counter this value is going to be modified if the fragment is about to be destroyed right now again when the fragment is recreated I check if it is made for the first time or it is made from a previous instance if it was made for the first time obviously the counter should be zero otherwise it should be the value that we have stored here inside our on save instance state so now let's run this and see if this works so now we have our emulator running if I say click me the button was clicked one time because on click is called the counter is incremented the same thing happens again and again but now when I change the orientation what happens is the on save instance state gets called inside which I have stored the counter so now when I say click me take a look it says the button was clicked six times 
because first when the fragment is about to be destroyed on Stevenson state gets called the value is put inside and when the fragment is recreated again this condition on Stevenson state equals equals null becomes false which means we go to the else part because our fragment is created from an existing instance that means the fragment was there previously and we get the value and we put it inside counter now again if I see click me click me and like it will get incremented and if I rotate the orientation again and I say click me it says 14 times now obviously you guys have noted something if I rotate the orientation the fragment A has its state getting saved but what about fragment B it shows large text for the first time right we can again change this by using the on save instance state method so let me show you how to do that as well let's go to our fragment B here the string data is the variable which contains that change text every time the change text is called the button was clicked one time two time three time that goes inside this string data field so I'm gonna save this data field using the same on save instance state method so every time fragment B is about to be destroyed the on save instance state will get called and this data will be saved with the name text now again inside the on create view method if you notice the second parameter is the bundle saved instance state so we can access the same parameter here so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna check if out save instance state equals equals null if it is null it means this fragment B is being created for the first time with no possible previous existence whatsoever otherwise it means that there was already a fragment B and we simply change the orientation or something so if saved instance state equals equals null I'm not gonna do anything otherwise what I'm going to do is get the saved instance state dot get string give the key as text which we already passed here get this value inside data find the text view which is contained inside this view object which is nothing but our reference to the relative layout that we use for fragment B notice the fragment B has a relative layout and this view parameter represents that so I'm gonna say view find view by ID I'm gonna find the text view here r dot ID dot text view perform the appropriate type casting and then using this text view I'm gonna set the data by saying my text dot set text data now let's notice what happens when the fragment B is about to be destroyed on save instance state gets called the value is stored inside which is our data then inside the on create view method we get that same bundle object being passed to us if there was no trace of the fragment whatsoever we keep things as it is otherwise we simply get the data and we find the text view and set the text views data to be equal to the text so now let's run this and see what is the difference so this time both fragment A and fragment B are saving their own states so this time our emulator runs we say click me button was clicked one time two three four five six all right now let's change the orientation remember both fragment A and fragment B have their on save instance state see fragment B has retained its data this time because its on save instance state was called that string was saved and then inside our on create view that string was retrieved and the text view was is set to contain that string so now again if I increment the counter see the counter is also being saved inside fragment A so this is how you make an application which retains user experience across changing orientations for every fragment you have to use the on save instance state to store its own data and back when you're creating the fragment again check if it is the first time that the fragment is seen on the screen or it is being made after some previous existent orientation so I hope you guys have understood something about how state is saved in the fragments I've talked about on save instance state for an activity in my playlist please go back and check it out in the meantime if you guys like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts I would love to hear from you guys thanks for watching I'll catch you guys in the next vid have a nice day